Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. It's my Saturday, your Sunday. Um, I am going to the post office to mail this letter. Um, so, just to clear this up, because so many people, like my vlog has been up literally like an hour, and so many people have already commented on it. No, I did not hit a raccoon. You guys, as a vegetarian, as an animal lover, first of all, do you think my, rac my reaction would just be, oh, a raccoon, and just keep on going? Seriously? Do you really think that would be my reaction to that, number one? Number two, do you think I'm so dumb that I would include that in a video if I hit an animal and just nonchalantly said, oh, a raccoon? If you watch the video, I hit my brakes, which is what you hear, see, I looked to my left and I saw the raccoon run across the street. I would not keep that in a video, okay? I was like, seriously, come on now, people. Anyway, and if I did hit an animal, I would feel so horrible about it that I don't even know. I'm gonna go down and see what the pool's, what's going on with the pool. I would feel horrible about it. So I have had a, God, there's not one person at the pool today. I have had a really great day. Um, but not one person. I'm gonna go to the pool a little bit later. I um, slept in until when Alex left because he went and did some work today. And then I, um, it is right now 7.09 p.m. And then I, um, and I'm gonna tell you this, because I know this raccoon thing's gonna get blown out of proportion. I don't really care what people say. I don't care, really, uh, what people wanna speculate. I know that I didn't hit no animal, okay? So when everybody wants to say, oh yes you did, blah, 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 no, I didn't. So we'll just end the, the conversation right there with it. But anyway, I had a great day today. I, um, woke up when Alex was leaving and I posted my video that I had pre-filmed from yesterday and then I filmed a Peterisms video. Uh, well, later I did that. I went and I got a cup of coffee, I talked on the phone to a friend um, and drove around just kind of listened to some music, looked at stuff on Audible. I just had kind of a relaxing day. I haven't really done a whole lot. And, um, yeah, and now I'm going over to, I'm gonna mail this bill and I'm gonna stop by Tanya's for a second because her son is in town. So I'm gonna see what they're doing. I'm gonna get a fountain pop somewhere. And um, Alex is watching, um, he's watching Red Sparrow on the patio. I did my live stream with Loki Loki, the interview. I felt like it went well. I hope it went well. And I had a lot of fun doing it. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's just been kind of a really calm and relaxing day today. I left like two of my really good chapsticks in the car and I didn't even know it was like this Chanel chapstick was down here because I had taken it to like the wedding when we went last week and it was sitting down here and it was like 90 degrees today and I didn't even open it I was so scared I just put it in the refrigerator and I'm like please just stay the, the way that you are and don't melt and I'm gonna read tonight and Alex and I are gonna maybe watch some kind of movie. We're gonna like download something. And um, yeah, we're just gonna relax around the house. We talked about maybe going downtown and going out to dinner. But I said, you know, I just kind of wanna low key it around the house. He's like, yeah, I kind of do too. So we're gonna low key it around the house and uh, not really do a whole lot, which I'm excited about. It'll be kind of nice. Okay, I guess you want me to go. Is leftover Chinese from yesterday, so he's like gonna eat that. I'm not really even that hungry, honestly. Alex found out that his best friend is moving back here at like the end of August, so he's excited about having her back in town, and yeah. You guys, I am like having to read, like use my reading glasses for everything anymore, like when I'm on the computer and stuff. 
And so the kind that I have, they're okay, they're cheap. They were like six bucks at the Meyer. So I'm gonna go, Half Price Books has some nice ones. So I'm gonna go in there and see if they have some nicer ones because I need to have more than just one pair. I'm using them constantly. Um, and because I'm using them with my contacts, it's like it's like causing me to have a headache. It's like stretching my, it's like straining my eyes a little bit. Um, so, talked to my dad on the phone for a while today. That was nice. Yeah, just spent you know weekends are nice to kind of just hang around, and. Um, I have a problem, like I get restless easy, so it's hard for me just to kind of sit and relax and watch a movie, which was so nice last night just watching a movie and, um, you know, or reading a book, like, I used to do so much of that and now it's kind of hard for me to do that, I always just feel so driven, like I got I'm doing this, I got this to do, I got this to do, I got this to do, so. Anyway, well I'm almost at the gas station, so I'm gonna pull in here. I kind of thought I wanted a fountain pop, but now I think I want one of those, those G2, those Gatorade 2s, those, you know what I'm talking about? I like those, those are good. So I think I'm gonna run in here and get something, maybe an iced tea. Iced tea sounds good too. And get something to drink. I was craving a slushy earlier. Do you guys ever drink slushies in the summer? Oh my God, they're so fun. I was craving a slushy earlier, but now I don't really feel like it. Um, I don't know why. Just don't. Oh my God, you guys. This is totally melted, look. Do you see? <laughs> Oh my gosh, so gross. Okay, I'm gonna go in and get a napkin. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. It's literally been like 2.2 minutes. I just realized I forgot my wallet. But I did have a napkin in my car, so. Do you know what is so weird about that is that that has never, that has never happened before. Um. That has never happened before with that lip balm. It's, I mean, even when it's like 95 degrees outside, it's never gotten like that messy. Jesus. God, that car is just like back straight up into. I don't want a pickle. I just want to ride on my motorcycle. So now, oh, did I say that I forgot my wallet? Okay, I have to go back and pick up my wallet from my house so that I can go and run these errands that I want to go run. I've been like forgetting stuff easily lately. I'm not really sure what that's about. It kind of worries me a little bit, honestly. Like, I'll be like, oh, do I have something to do tomorrow? And then I totally forget that it's like this huge thing that I had to do. Which is probably a good reason why I keep my calendar, you know? And write things down. It was interesting in the interview today a lot of, like, that I did on that, Loki, Loki. He asked a lot of really, really good questions. Like, one of the questions, he asked about my mom's passing, and he asked, like, you know, what I learned about it. And I said, you know, I learned that, like, you know, life is really short, and you have to do the things that you want to do now. Um, and I was talking about how, like, my attitude towards um, doing, like, with my mom's passing, that I was like, okay, I've got to start taking some risks in life you know, positive risks of doing things that I want to do because my mom had all these things that she wanted to do in her life that she never did. And that, like, that coincided with about six months later, you know, me meeting Alex and, you know, Alex being somebody that 
takes a lot of healthy risks in life and really challenges himself and you know that I really believe in that today and I think that those two things kind of like happening together at the same time made this transition period in my life for me where I was like prepared to I don't know like turn a new leaf and do do have a different life than what I had before and I don't really think that I had that in me before you know like I that I believe that I could have written a book yes at 20 um, if I had been sober, but I don't know that I really realized that about myself. I don't think I had that kind of confidence. And, um, you know, then he was asking me like the two things that I learned the most from my childhood. And it was interesting. And I, I was talking about like, or he asked me the most important thing I learned from my childhood. And I said, or from bullying and things like that. And one of the things I said on there was that I believe that you know, I kept my mom's secret of being an alcoholic and that did me more harm than had I talked about it and been honest about it. And it wasn't mine to keep for her, if that makes sense. But I think that we're so protective of our parents that and our family members and siblings that we don't talk about that stuff because, you know, we're protective of them. But in reality, that protection does us a lot of harm. And then I talked about the bullying and I said, you know, I think that what I really realized through all of that is that people change and that people deserve forgiveness. And, um, I mean, some people change, some people don't, some people stay shits of the earth for their entire life and that's their choice. And, you know, they, and, and I've met a lot of shit people that have fantastic lives, you know, like they just don't like the negativity, like never seem that they put out there in the world never seems to fit them. You know, I actually did a, um, video on my Peter's Peterisms channel called Sometimes Cheaters Do Win and it was about that that you know there are a lot of shit people out there in the world that uh, I have seen risen to the top and can and like people don't really see them for what they are and you know what I've had to realize is their journey is different than mine we're not on the same journey and what I'm supposed to learn from my life and what I'm supposed to accomplish in my life is completely different than what they're supposed to accomplish in their life and um, so you know I'm just going to actually do a little video for you guys right here. So if you watch my video, I was leaving the house last night. Here is the street that I was driving down. So I'm going to focus on the left side of the road where, or you can see that I'm, here's where I was driving. Okay. Doing this very clear. on the road <laughs> just want to clear this up and be completely transparent for all of you out there okay now can we move on all right but you know like and I was saying that you know through bullying I had really really learned that I um, you know that my bully and I have like made up and you know become friends in life and that I really hurt his side of the story and that I think that hurt people hurt people uh, speaking of which, um, every time I post a vlog, immediately I get so many dislikes on this video. And so, since I think a lot of you probably watch my videos but forget to like, you know, don't even think about it, could you like like the hell out of this video? Like that would really make me happy. Um, because I know there's a lot of people that watch my vlogs and they don't even watch two seconds of it and they just dislike it. They're on notification. I'm glad they, somebody gets my notifications, but they're on notification to, uh, to, so they can come and leave a dislike on my video, which I don't really care. It helps the, uh, actually on YouTube, it doesn't really matter um, the amount of dislikes or likes you get. It's all about, uh, what do you call it, uh, participation on the video. So the more people that, like the more activity that you have, negative or positive, on your video, the more it helps your video. But I mean, videos of my size on this channel aren't gonna, like that's not gonna really get them to a trending page anyway, but it just doesn't matter. They, uh, YouTube actually looks kind of like at uh, likes and dislikes equally on some level. But anyway, I, um, so could you like, like this video? And everybody leave a blue heart. Everybody leave a blue heart for the Wolf Pack. But you know, I talked in there about like forgiveness and that I really believe that hurt people hurt people. 
and that, you know, a lot of times the people in my life that have said the cruelest things in, in my entire life, that have said the cruelest things, been the meanest to me, are really like the most hurt people. And that when I sat down and I talked to the guy that was bullying me in high school and we became friends, like one of the things that I learned through his story was that he was in a lot of pain, you know, when he was bullying me. And to some degree, the positive attention that he was getting by his friend group for making fun of me was making him feel better about himself. Now, while I think that's absolutely a crap move, okay, I understand it, if that makes sense. I understand why somebody would think that that was like an appropriate thing to do. Like, I understand why, I understand it, I don't like it. Does that make sense? Like, it's hurtful, but I get it, if that makes sense, you know? So, um, it is what it is, and, uh, we can't fix it, we can't go back, we can't change it. But I think sometimes understanding and having compassion for those people, even the people that are the hardest for us to have compassion for, um, really helps us grow as people. Because I think a lot of times, you know, those things that we see in other people that we don't like about ourselves, they're actually mirrors to us. So, you know, when people watch me and there are things they don't like about me, it's actually what that, what that is, is that it's something about me that they don't like is something that they're speaking of. And when I watch people that I don't like, or, you know, if I see a behavior that I don't like in somebody and I'm like, well, I don't know, you know, usually that's about something in my, in my own life, if that makes sense, that, that has been problematic or been an issue in my lo own life to some degree, if that makes sense. The yards are so green here. All right, well, you guys, I'm entering my neighborhood, so I'm gonna go get my wallet, and then I will be back in just a little while. All right, I'm back. I was laying in bed, and I was just kind of like getting ready to go for a swim, a night swim, and I was reading the comments um, in my video, and I received a few more comments of people saying that I hit a raccoon, and I already perceive that this is going to be a huge issue, okay? And being that I'm such an animal lover and that uh, mistakes happen in life, and if I did do that, I would completely own it, we're going to do a little thing because I'm really, to be honest with you, I'm really tired of dealing with some of the negativity that I receive on this vlog. When every day... Um, and if you love me and you're like, Peter, don't feed into this, I'm sorry, but this is something I feel like I need to do. When every day I get in the car or I show my life for 45 minutes. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start the vlog where I started it last night, and I'm gonna go the exact same route that I went last night, and we're gonna see if there's a raccoon there, okay? Dead on the side of the road. Because now somebody's saying, what was that noise? I s slammed on my brakes and kept on going because I could see the raccoon run in front of me. I tell the truth on my channel. If people have an issue with that, unsubscribe to my channel and don't watch me anymore. But if you're gonna come and bring some bullshit to my channel, you're gonna be asked to leave because I'm tired of it. So are you ready? Here we go. Okay, I'll turn it on the volume on my car too so you guys can hear it just like this. Now, hello, hello, hello. Here's me. It's really Backing cool. out of my Outside car tonight. What does the temperature say? 67 degrees? It feels like early fall there we outside. Go. And it started kind of getting cool early in the evening. Because I wanted to go for a swim tonight. And I didn't I did not end up going for a swim. I'm still kind of waking up, you guys. I um went to bed when Alex did and I was like, okay, I'm just going to lay down for a half an hour. That was at 11. <laughs> it is 3.04 a.m. I kept on waking up like every half an hour and I was like, just, just, just so I can be completely just transparent. I was so relaxed. In bed with dogs and with Alex. Um, Let me know when you see that raccoon on the left hand side of the road listen to a little bit of my audiobook and then come back and go to bed. So this will probably not be super long tonight, you guys. Um, but I've been doing long vlogs the last couple days, so that'll be fine. Um, 
Let me know when you see the raccoon that I hit last night. Let's see what I did today. I woke up. Oh, the same and, exact sound of me stopping at the stop sign. Um, I did not get coffee earlier this morning. I just wasn't like really thirsty for it. So I like filled a big bottle of water. Big, do I have it in here? No, I took it to the house. Um, and uh, turn signal, you can hear it in the video. I don't know why I, I turn. This. I've talked about this on here before, but when I was playing tennis in the summer, so when I was a kid. Here, let me focus to the, in. The, uh, what do you call them? Uh, this water jug. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what they're called. But we would like fill them with ice and water, and then we would like you know you turn them, and then you would we would drink that whole thing back in the day, and then we would fill them in the water fountain with water. But anyway, we didn't have like the fancy water bottles that we have now. We had these like big jug things. What are those called? I can't even remember. But, um, oh. Where is yeah. it? Um, where's the raccoon like, that I hit? The kind of things that you see. Like, where's the blood like, stain? Like, Anything. Like, construction workers. Um, Karen. You know what I'm talking about? Nothing so, there. So, um. Let me turn around so we can go back and we can look at it from the other side. These cars go. You can see there's three cars coming. Let them go so everybody can get a real good view. Okay, now look at the road very closely right here. Oh, uh, what's that? Nope. That's a pothole covered up. No blood stains in the road. No dead raccoon on the side of the road. I did not hit a raccoon. Up, oh, there's another pothole filled in. There's another pothole filled in. No raccoon, no animal, no squirrel, no rabbit, nothing on the side of the road. You see anything? Nothing. And if you don't believe me, put it on a big screen TV, flash forward, take each screen, little by little, and do your analysis. I didn't hit a raccoon. But I am going to tell you what this made me decide. Okay? And I hope that this... Uh... I try really hard not to allow the negativity to affect me on this channel. Okay? And... I do a really pretty good job of it. There is somebody out there, and I mentioned this person, that is negative every video. The next negative comment that you leave, you're going to be asked to leave my channel. You won't be leaving comments on my videos anymore because I'm tired of it, okay? You don't like me. You don't like my videos. I don't know why you watch them. You don't need to leave comments anymore. This is my channel, and um, I would like the message that I send to people to be, you don't have to tolerate shit in your life if you don't want to. There are whole sites dedicated to people wanting to drag shit about people. Go over there and have your conversations. Now that I have put that to rest, okay, can we please go on? Because I know that there's a lot of you out there that are saying, Peter, I love you. I don't like to see you upset. I don't like to see you negative, blah, 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 whatever. And I agree. I don't like to be upset. But I felt like I needed to clear the air before that becomes a huge issue. So there, it's been clear. So anyway, Alex is at home. He is watching movies on the patio. I was going to lay down for an hour, but I was like, you know what? I think I want to go to the pool instead. 
and um, do a night swim. And I was going to ask our neighbor if she wanted to go, but she is going, her boyfriend is DJing a wedding reception, so she doesn't want to go. And um, so Alex was like, well, I'm just going to watch some movies outside. And he's watching stuff that I've already watched. He's watching... Um, Happy Death Day, which I've already watched, and he's watching, but well, finishing up watching Red Sparrow. And it's real cute. He has like uh, these big high chairs that we have out there. He has them cordoned off so the dogs can't get off the patio. And then he has these beds out there for them. And I bought, I just bought them dog food tonight. And then um, I bought Tucker a new rope toy because Tucker loves rope toys. And so they're all just sitting out there with their dad. Look at my hair. My hair looked so good earlier. And then I thought I would lay down and take a nap. And now it doesn't look so good anymore. I think everybody can just start practicing. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And if your mama didn't teach you that, then there, I'm teaching you that. And that can apply. You can go leave comments on any other channel of mine that you want. But on this one, I'm, I've had it. I can say something like, oh, I'm really hungry for, you know, uh, those sugar pop, you know, cereals. Don't you know that's made with this? You shouldn't eat that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think I want to go to the state fair this year. You shouldn't go to the state fair. I just want to say, shut up. I am so tired of it. If you have so many opinions, make your own damn vlog channel. Shut up. I'm tired of it. 99.5% of the people that watch my vlogs. Oh, my God. There's fireworks up there. Love to hear my stories and love to hear what I have to say. And the other 5% are just bitter, miserable people that just are just bitter. Just bitter. Go do something with your bitterness. Turn it into some positivity. Life is way too short. Don't be bringing it to my channel. My God. It's the purge. Did you hear it? <laughs> I told y'all, listen, my vlog is going to be the good, the bad, and the indifferent, okay? Or the ugly or whatever. And, uh... I got riled up a little bit tonight reading those comments. I was like, that really pisses me off that people actually think that I would hit a raccoon and just keep on driving. Seriously? Seriously. You've watched two years of me on a vlog and four channels over two years period of time and you think I just hit a raccoon and go, oh, raccoon, and just keep on driving? Seriously. God, there's all kinds of fireworks over there. Those are pretty. I always wonder why people do fireworks after 4th of July. Don't you know it's the 7th? <laughs> but a lot of people have like family get-togethers and stuff. But these are like big over here. Well, it was one big one. I don't see it going off anymore. You know, I was really kind of sad because I was looking for that movie, The Miss Firecracker Contest with Holly Hunter, and I couldn't find it. You know, things have to happen in life for a reason. I really do. And uh, I don't think they have to. I think you can find the reasons. You can find lessons in life about things that happen, you know. And uh, I think sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes it's like I don't want to find the lesson in something I'm going through today. And I think the real test is in challenging yourself to finding the lessons, you know? And like, for me, and I'm gonna be honest, I think the lesson today is, Peter, you need to set some limits and some boundaries, okay? You're nobody's doormat today. I didn't stay sober for 23 and a half years, and I didn't uh, become a person of character and become transparent and share my story for the world to hear to be somebody's doormat. I just didn't. And neither did you, for that matter. Nobody out there deserves to be anybody's doormat. And when somebody thinks that you're their doormat or thinks that it's okay to treat you that way, 
that should be a real good indicator about that person of how they treat people in the world because we shouldn't treat people that way, you know? When people repeatedly treat you that way, that should be a really significant sign about how somebody is. And, um, you know, I've had some people in my life I've had some people in my life that, like, do you ever just have that friend and they just, uh, like, this is nobody that's ever been in my vlog or that I've ever talked about in a vlog or whatever. And it's actually, like, like two people. But have you ever had that person that just is, like, they guilt trip you and, you know, they say this and they say that and it's just, like... To be honest with you, it is more a burden to have you in my life than to not have you in my life. Like, that's a sad statement to say about somebody, right? And I have this friend that, like, we have gone back and forth, and, like, I have owned my shit about the differences with our friendship, and, I mean, this is an on, this is, like, a 12, 15-year friendship, and I have, like, owned my part and, like, tried to make it right, and it always comes right back to, you know, like, how they, you know, how they feel about stuff. And I'm like, I, to be honest with you, like, I have never met somebody so self-centered in my entire life. And, you know, like, here's the thing. It's like, the older that you get, kind of the less time, I don't know, if you get this early, great for you. I wish I had gotten it a lot younger in my life. But kind of the older that you get, you kind of, like, um, you have less time, like, you have less tolerance for that. You know, like, I've talked about that on my Peterisms channel. It is hot as hell in here tonight. I've talked about that, you know, like, removing toxic people from your life. But it's hard. It really is. Like, I am not somebody that, like, says to people, like, get out of my life. I don't want anything to do with you. And I'm also not the person that just, like, will stop calling or texting or having something to do with somebody. Like, I feel like they at least deserve to have a conversation to understand why I'm distancing myself from them. And I'll tell you why. Because I've had people distance themselves from me before when I was a really negative Nancy back in the day. And they just didn't want to be around me because I was so negative a lot, you know? <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm getting it now. Maybe it's karmic energy, you know? But, um, you know, like... But they would, they would want to distance themselves from me and I didn't understand it and it hurt. And I and I didn't understand, I'd be like, well, I don't understand why this friend never calls me anymore. I don't understand this, you know? And then later, when I was a different person, I would say something to them. I'd say like, you know, it's been like so long since I've seen you, it's really good to see you again. And they'd be like, to be honest with you, Peter, like you were so negative at that point in your life. I'm so glad that you're out of it today. I'm so glad that you're happy and things are good for you, you know? But like at that period, like I just couldn't be around it. It was like really, really tough. And I get that, you know? And I don't blame people in my life for that. Like I don't want to be somebody toxic in somebody's life and I don't want toxic people in my life. You know, listen, we got enough illness, financial issues, troubles of the world, family problems, that we really shouldn't be having to deal with toxic people. We just shouldn't, you know? And I know that this is a shitty statement, and I don't really care, but if I have people in my, I, I just don't have a whole lot of time for it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I have so many things I want to do with my life other than cater to the toxicity of somebody that isn't even willing to improve themselves. After you have said things to them, like, I love you, but, I mean, you are so negative all the time, or I love you, but, like, what can I do to help you? Because you just don't seem very happy. You know, well, why would I be happy? My life is miserable, and you're sitting there on the outside looking in going, well, if I was sitting in your shoes, I might have a pretty good life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have time to clean up somebody else's toxicity today. I just don't. Uh, I'm talking about in my personal life. And, um, and I don't need the toxicity around me. And maybe that's why I don't have a lot of friends. You know, that I only have like four or five people around me. Because I think a lot of times when I become better friends with people, it's like, like, they, I just have to tell you, like, in the back of my head right now, I'm thinking to myself, don't post this video, okay? Don't put the stuff up that you've already filmed because people are going to be like, you're in a shitty mood today. I'm not in a shitty mood at all. I actually, it's, it's really sad because I was having a fantastic day today and I was so calm and I did the interview and I was feeling great and I had like all my stuff done and I was like, you know, I'm going to really enjoy this evening. I'm going to, you know, hang out with Alex and watch a movie. And then like I posted the video and within like 
five minutes, I got like four dislikes because there are people out there that are so intent on hating me that they dislike my video right from the get-go, which I don't, like, that really doesn't affect me. But then one of the first comments was like, uh, something about me hitting a raccoon. And I'm like, seriously? Okay, I watched the videos back, first of all. So I know what I'm posting. And I don't know. It just really, it really lit a fire in my ass tonight. I was like, I spend a lot of time filming videos and uploading them. And a lot of people out there really respond to them positively. But then I have to deal with this bullshit that I don't want to deal with anymore. Dislike my video all you want. Make a hundred dislikes on it. That's cool, okay? Like I said, it shows activity on my video. There's some really ugly people out there in the world, you know? Like, I didn't really realize until I got on YouTube. I mean, maybe my life was kind of isolated a little bit, I guess. But I've really come into contact with some very ugly people, you know, like, it's just sad to me, it's like, I try really, really hard on all of my channels to spread positivity, and to be completely honest, and transparent, and share my story, and yet there's those people out there that are like, nope, 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 nope. And no matter, and they are and they are so getting off on this video right now, but I don't really care. Cause this is today, cause today, this is my truth. Did you hear that right there? That's my breaks that are going out. That's when people ask me what the rumbling was when I, they say, oh, what was that rumbling on your video? It was that, it was my breaks because the pads are going out. Um, I, try so hard to stay positive and to preach positivity and to put that out there in the world. And, you know, probably three months ago, there has been a few vlogs where I have like got on here and just really gone off and then I delete the whole thing and then I refilm an hour worth of a vlog because I'm like, you know what, for the people out there that love me, you know, like, and love watching my videos, like, I don't want them to have to go through that. But I think it's important for people to see today that the way that you talk to people and the way that you treat people does affect them. And I'm a person. And the way that people talk to me affects me. to make a comment about something that happens to me or some, a choice that I make in my life, I'm totally cool with that, okay? Have an opinion about something that I choose to do in my life. But when you say in a video, in the comment section, and, and I say, because I responded to this one person and I said, I did not hit a raccoon. And somebody r responded back and said, well then what was that rumbling noise? What you have just said is, okay? You are a person that would hit an animal and just go, oh, raccoon, and keep on driving. What you have just done is defined my character. I do not believe that is definitive of who I am as a person. That is highly offensive to me to make that statement, okay? So you aren't somebody that comes to my videos because you enjoy my content. You're somebody to come, that comes to my channel to look for discrepancies and to hate on my channel. Why are you here? I don't understand it. And I am gonna post this video because I think people need to see that YouTubers are real ass people too. I say it in all of my drama videos. YouTubers are human beings. They deserve to be treated like human beings too. And I can take the gossip. What I can't take is characters, you know, descriptions that are not true of who I am. And I've rambled on and on and on about this enough and I don't really care. But I'm not deleting those comments because I want, I want people to see those people and who they are and what they chose to say about me. But on the next video that y'all come for me, you block, 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 because I've had it. I think I just need to turn this camera off and cool down for a little bit. 
and then come back later. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I've driven around for a couple minutes and I've kind of thought about things and I really wanted to come on here later tonight and I really wanted to like be like, hey, I'm better and you know, whatever. But this really, I, I'm really frustrated by this. I, I, I honesty moment, 100% right here that I'm like really pissed about this, okay? not about the fact that I have to show footage. It's not about the fact that somebody asked a question. I want to make that very clear, okay? It's about the fact that after 188 days of me filming a vlog, that there are people out there that believe, after I have shown so much of who I am, and I personally believe I show more of who I am than the majority of the YouTubers out there. That after 188 days, this year alone, on top of all of last year, that there are people out there that believe that my character is of somebody that would hit an animal and just keep on going and just go, oh, a raccoon. It really pisses me off. And for the people out there that love me and know that's not who I am, thank you. Um, and I'm sorry that you had to deal with this vlog today. To the people out there that that, qu that is questionable or that you're not sure, please unsubscribe to my channel. This is not the channel for you. If after a year, and 188 days, I have not proven to you who I am, and you would rather speculate about who I am instead of listen to the stories of my life that I have shared now over probably three or 400 hours of footage, then I don't really think that my channel is for you. And I don't really care if people say, well, you put it out there, you need to leave a comment on it. Okay, whatever. That's fine. You're right. That's absolutely right. I put it out there into the world. But I've had to deal with a lot of bullshit since I've been on YouTube. I I'm not dealing with this. I'm just not. And I don't think that I'm in a place tonight to come back on video and spend the rest of my evening trying to pull myself together. I, I would rather go and go swimming and spend time with my husband than come on here and try to, you know, get myself okay for camera. I'm done filming videos for the day. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of it tonight. I'm pissed off and it is what it is. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. I'm sorry that you had to tolerate this tonight. I'm really, I'm not happy about this at all. I was like, okay, Peter, go home, calm down, come back film 15 other, you know, 15 more minutes, tell some stories. I don't have any desire to do that tonight. I'm going to go home. I'm going to upload the footage. I'm going to post the video tomorrow. Y'all can make of it what you want to make of it. I don't really care. For those of you that love me, I will be back tomorrow with more stories from my life and sharing who I am. I won't be addressing this anymore, but tonight I felt like I needed to talk about this and I felt like I needed to really show who I was as a person. And that shit bothers me, you know? I'm not entirely fragile, but things do bother me. I've had to take a lot of shit from people in the last year for I'm a vegetarian. And they go, oh, well, you eat this and you eat that. And then you didn't this. And all these people saying you're not a vegetarian. I have busted my ass to do the best that I could to be a vegetarian for the last year. And, and it, the reasons don't even matter today, okay? But to think that I'm that person that would just do that, like, seriously?
feel like I'm letting down the people that watch my videos consistently and are really, really supportive of me and really like me. Just allow me to have this day, this one day to be upset, and I'm sorry. You know, and maybe this is, you know, emotional hangover from, you know, going through this stuff with my uncle or whatever, or maybe I'm emotionally sensitive right now. I don't know, okay? But I'm willing to take a look at that in my life. But what I'm not willing to take a look at is somebody making up lies about me not on this channel. So, I'll be back tomorrow and I will uh, put out a, a hopefully more positive video talking about stories of my life and sharing my life with you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. So, I just got back from the pool and look at my hair. It's so long. I'm getting it cut on Monday. Um, <laughs> I had such a peaceful time in the pool. This is like craziness, you guys. Um, <laughs> I had such a peaceful time in the pool and I was like doing cartwheels and, um, I need to put something in my hair. Hold on just a second. This is going to drive me crazy. So I was like doing cartwheels and just really kind of, I don't know where to put this. Hmm. There. I was in the pool and um, it's like all lit up at night and I was like, this is that Mr. Dandy's hair candy that Elle sent to me that I love. Thank you so much, Elle. And I was like, Thinking of my mom, because I used to come over here and go sw swimming with her in the summers, and we would do like handstands and stuff like that in the pool, and I was like, why did you let this get you so upset? Like, you know what I mean? And I was thinking about how... Melissa got me some of that rain, uh, she had like some leftover reindeer soap from Lush and um, it has like a reindeer on it and she gave it to me and I love it. Um, but anyway, I was thinking about, you know, when my mom passed away and I found her journals and um, I'm like, I have this big like beach towel and um, I found her journals and I feel like I need to like rise, raise this up a little bit. I'm not sure my phone. Is that better? Yeah. Um, I found all her journals and um, I feel like we're having a little bit of a sleepover. She, um, like some of her journals had evidence. It said evidence written on it or fact. And you know, I think it's because my mom like really fought with like people would say oh that's not true or I never said that or whatever and so she would like write details um of things that happened and like needing to prove you know that something was true or something that had happened to her really had happened the way that she believed it and I was thinking about that as I was in the pool tonight because I was like I think when you you there's so many different ways to look at something I was actually going to make a completely different vlog, vlog and I was going to do part one and part two when I got done with this other part. I was in the pool and I was like, why don't you make a part two and just do it and be very happy, happy and cheerful. You're calm down now and just do it for the people that like the wolf pack, the people that really love you, you know? But then I was reading some of the comments and I think it's McKenna, I want to say, because she was somebody that had left a comment on there and saying, did you just, you know, nonchalantly do this? And then at the bottom of it, she said, hey, I'm really sorry that I let this get out of control. That's not like really what my intention was. And I was like, you know, like I can handle that. Like, so thank you, McKenna, for that. You know, like we all, I think, sometimes jump to conclusions or say things that we don't really know what we're saying at the time. And that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about people that are just constantly looking to take you down. But then I was thinking, you know, a lot about, there's like this string on my lampshade. But then, isn't that such a pretty string? But then I was thinking about like, 
you know, my my dad being, or like my dad, what he said about my uncle being gone and in those last moments, you know, of, you know, like I'm never going to see you again in the moments that really matter. And I was thinking about that in the context of me getting all riled up about this. And in looking back on my life, this is not a moment. And this is where I, I, I'm showing you guys this. And I was thinking to myself, well, just show that, you know, just in, because people are continuing to leave comments saying things. And so I thought, well, just leave the footage in where you go and you show the drive. And then I was like, no, I'm just going to leave it all in there. You know, I want people to really see all of me, right? And I think, like, this is in action me showing you my attempt to remain teachable. I don't like to live in anger. That doesn't mean that I don't always go there. That doesn't mean that I don't have moments where I get hurt. And, you know, anger is a secondary emotion, I believe, and that it covers up other things. And I am hurt by people believing that that could be true or whatever. This stupid camera has sat in the kitchen for the last hour, and the yellow light just came on. But that being... Oh, maybe it's because it's sitting on my camera. I don't know. But that being said, like, I don't have to own that truth. You know what I mean? Like, that's not my truth. And, um... It was weird. Like, I just kind of came out of it. I was, like, doing handstands in the pool, and I was swimming around, and it was so beautiful, and there were fireworks going off all over around the city tonight, you know? And it was, like, instantly, like, within, like, 10 minutes, like, my mood completely shifted, and I was, like, in this great mood again. And, um, you know, it was interesting because um, I went in there, and I want to say who this is. I, wanna, I think it's Dean's girl. Um, went into my video, and she said, did you read it? it Dean's girl. And she said, you know, to, to all the of you in the comments saying something blah, 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 about if you look in the description box, because I put in the description box that no, I didn't do that. And I was like, you know, there's, I feel like in the last six months, I've done a really good job of focusing on the positive and not the negative. But there are some people out there that like to take the small things and turn them into huge things or to distort a story. I think that's why it was important for my mom, you know, to have factual evidence of how a story really went down, even if that was just how she and her sister fought over deviled eggs on Thanksgiving, or, you know, um, something that, a conversation that she had with a friend on the phone, because these were not deep issues that she put in this journal. These were things like that, and she wanted to make it clear that her side was pure. But at the end of the day, I think we each know how we live our lives and we each know what we've done in our lives and what we're capable of doing and things like that. And all I could think about in the pool was wanting to either end this on a positive note for those of you out there that are so supportive of me, or I wanted to do an entirely different vlog, but quite frankly, I just want to enjoy my evening. Um, I don't want to go and not put the video up that I already have filmed and, you know, that's, I just want to watch a movie and hang out and read a little bit and <laughs> figure out if my hair's ever going to do something. And I'm okay now, you know, like I've worked through it and, but I really had to take some moments to myself. I had to really think about it. You know, I had to think about, well, if I was watching that video, what would I think? And, um, you know, I might think the same thing. If I didn't know me, that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, I think that when somebody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. And um, maybe there are some out of you out there that don't believe that I've sh shown good enough sides of myself. I don't know. But that's really not up to me. It's just my story, and I'm just sharing it. And how you all perceive it is up to you. Um... So, life goes on, and it just stopped. The camera just literally stopped, so I'm going to try to make this really quick. But anyway, so, life goes on, and I'm better. And um, I just want to say to those out there, the Wolf Pack, that I love you. And um, here's my blue heart to you tonight for always being supportive of me. And thank you for the continued support. Um, I'm sorry I got a little bit angry earlier. But I want people to know that we're human too, and we have emotions. And 
I'm not going to put on some fake facade and be like, I'm always okay. Cause that's just not the way that the life that the world is. And I want you to know that it's okay to have your emotions and feelings aren't facts because they change. And, but that being said, you have a right to your feelings at that time. We hurt each other sometimes when we don't mean to. And I, and I know that. So I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.